Today's Tuesday, November the 8th, 2022, and we're talking about this week uh, how we have a sure foundation and we've got to understand the basis of our foundation. And so today I want to talk about basic faith has its foundation in knowledge. I want that to sink in. Basic faith in Christ Jesus has its foundation in knowledge. So rereading verse 3 of Second Peter chapter 1, it says, As his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness through the knowledge of him who called us to glory and virtue. So everything that pertains to life and godliness is a result of the fact that we have this knowledge of him who called us to glory and virtue. So we're speaking specifically about the knowledge of God who called us according to his glory and goodness. Now in Philippians chapter one, I want to read a few verses here, verse nine, and it says this, and this I pray that your love may abound still more and more in knowledge and all discernment. Your love is going to have a basis in knowledge. It'll abound more and more in knowledge, your love toward others and toward God, because you become smart about this and you have discernment about it. And then in chapter three, verse eight and 10 of Philippians, it says, but indeed I also count all things lost for the excellence of the knowledge of Christ Jesus, my Lord, for whom I have suffered the loss of all things and count them as rubbish that I may gain Christ. And then verse 10, that I may know him and the power of his resurrection and the fellowship of his sufferings being conformed to his death. Do you catch this? It's so clearly, it's about knowledge. I'm, I'm going to have knowledge of God and because of I'm gonna be known by him, I'm gonna know him and I'm gonna participate in the fellowship of his sufferings. Now, if we jump over to Colossians chapter one, and verse nine and verse 10, it says, for this reason, we also, since the day we heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of his will in all wisdom and spiritual understanding that you may walk worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing him, being fruitful in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God. So I've got to tell you that the more we learn about our Father God, the more knowledge we have of him, the stronger our faith foundation. In Proverbs 2, 5, we basically discover that from the fear of the Lord comes the knowledge of God and with it wisdom and understanding. The fear of the Lord's beginning of knowledge. The foundation of our basic faith is knowledge of the truth. Let that sink in. The foundation of our basic faith in God is knowledge of the truth. First Timothy 2, 4 states, God our Savior, who wants all men to be saved and to come to a knowledge of the truth. The Bible further declares, for God who said, let light shine out of darkness, made his light shine in our hearts to give us the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Christ, 2 Corinthians 4, 6. <laughs> so are you catching this? Our, our basics about faith is it comes from knowledge. The more knowledge we have of God, the stronger our faith will be. So God has allowed every human being to be exposed to the knowledge about him. The heavens declare the glory of God. And as we begin to respond to that knowledge, faith begins to develop. Faith, you see, comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. As that faith expands based upon the knowledge of who God is and how God acts in response to man, powerful works begin to transform our lives. Although it's a poor comparison, it's like the satisfaction I got as I said to you yesterday when I bought that first car and I pushed the pedal down in that 1965 Dodge Polaris 383 engine. I pushed that 
pedal down and that car responded. I get greater satisfaction now when I activate my faith in God and respond in obedience to him. I'm jettisoned ahead in my relationship with the Almighty and Most High God. Colossians chapter 2, verse 2 and 3 says it well. My purpose is that they may be encouraged in heart and united in love so that they may have the full riches of complete understanding in order that they may know the mystery of God, namely Christ, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. And in Ephesians 4, 13, until we all reach the unity of the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. See, when I hear somebody say, I'm going to try God, I just, you know, I'd make a test run. No, no, no. You have to grow in the knowledge of God. And the more you grow in the knowledge of God, the more you find he's dependable and faithful, that he, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And you start growing up in your faith. Our scripture clearly states that everything that goes into a life of pleasing God has been miraculously given to us by getting to know personally and intimately the one who invited us to God. Second Peter chapter 1 and verse 3. It's, all this stuff's been given to us everything that pertains to life and godliness through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So I'm saying clearly your faith, my faith is rooted and grounded in the personal and intimate knowledge of Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. Now the Holy Spirit is going to stimulate in you a desire to know more about him and this is where we get to know more about him in the word and from that word in the Holy Spirit turning the light on for us, so to speak, the Holy Spirit speaking to us, giving us revelation of what the word is saying and helping us draw nearer to Jesus. I'm praying for that for you today in the name of Jesus Christ. May everyone who watches this video be stimulated by the Holy Spirit to know Jesus more, better, deeper, and fuller. And I pray that for myself, that I might know you and be known by you in fullness, not in a little teaspoon of measurement, but that the whole avenue of recognizing who you are would just open up and I would mature in my faith in you. Thank you. Praise you. I give you glory for it, Lord. In Jesus' name. Well, be strong in the Lord today and increase in the knowledge of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you as you get closer to Jesus.